I'm gonna start. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with some of the arena deckless brews, and it's kind of weird that I have rares, but I don't have some of the uncommons. I guess I'm gonna have to craft it. I don't really know how this works. I guess we do have <laughs> we do have enough <laughs> we do have enough wild cards on this account. Uh, this is a Wizards of the Coast sponsored stream, which is great. They gave us a special account with all the cards. There's four Heliods. Uh, I'll give you guys a link to the. Yo, 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 come on, in an episode, episode, episode. I'll give you guys a link to the article in a little bit. There's two Gideons and two Elspeths, I believe. There's four Banishing Light. What's up, Dragon? He has a pretty neat deck on the go if you're looking for something to play. If you have a if you have a link to if you have a link to his to his deck, I'll be happy to try it. There's four castles and no planes. Alright. Are we playing are we playing best of threes or best of one? I have no idea. This is mono white devotion arena deck lists. Deck name too long. Okay. Oh, I need to change the title of my stream too. Best of one. Okay, so I don't need to make a sideboard for this. Uh, change the title. Then standard Bruce. All right. So let me play. Let me play a quick game or two with this mono white deck from Arena deck lists. Uh, if you guys are looking for, a, I guess I'll, I'll I'll make it into a command. This is the list that. This is a list of decks that Jerry and, and Brian and just like the people from Arena deck list posted. Uh, play no bot match, All right? And that's where I'm kind of looking uh just to start just so i get like like a feel of the cards and see you know see what's good and see what's bad this is why darby okay for first match already a great a great opponent i'm gonna keep this i have emotes disabled but i would like to say hi I'll just cast this turn one. Like for turn three, I have Gideon, and if I saw correctly, uh, when I was going through the streams earlier, I thought Wild was playing like a blue black control, but maybe that was somebody else. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. I'll play Nexus. Plus, like you can still use this to tap a creature. It's it's not a big deal. Oh, he already changed it. Okay. So let me make a command. Uh, how about command deck lists? Add com deck lists. Using Bruce from the arena. So this guy's gonna get a little bigger. But that still doesn't attack through. What does this do? Up to under creature gains vigilance, lifelink, indestructible. So I can make this indestructible and attack with both. This is a vigilance, no. But then I can protect my guy. I can do that anyway because this is flying. So what am I doing? I guess I'll just give this guy vig uh, indestructible and just attack with both. This is a prime day for justice. This one indestructible. Uh, let's attack the one. Uh, 
Oh, my Gideon died. Okay. Okay. I think we're playing the same deck. Alright, this is an easy block. Let's play the Ol and get something sweet, hopefully. Let's get a Banishing Light. <clears throat> okay, that worked out pretty nicely. I, I, I didn't know you could just wish, wish for the card, but that's kind of nice. Uh, it's better than another Ol, I'm pretty sure. I have to put sponsored on my thing, just so I don't get in trouble. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're playing the same deck. I think there's going to be a lot of people using Arena Decklist today to... <laughs> to... <laughs> uh, to, to, to start with the, the first couple of brews. My cat's <laughs> sounding like he's dying, but he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. Seen a lot of mono black. I think mono black is kind of like the most obvious deck that everybody's gonna try. This is Exiles Enchantment, right? Exiles anything? Yeah. So do I actually have any four plus <laughs> casting cost creatures? I don't think so. So I don't really want to bring this back now because it's just gonna. It's kind of just gonna die. I think I'm just gonna cast another O. What's in my <laughs> Crow Pizza player? <laughs> What's in my deck? Mono White Devotion. There's nothing that has 4 plus power, right? Cav except for Cavalier, I guess. Yeah, Cavalier is a pretty big deal because that also destroys the lease. Uh, yeah, I'll just cast another O. Have you been hyped to Pioneer? I have. I also have to start playing Pioneer because we have the first original Pro Tour starting in about two weeks. Also did commentary this weekend for GP Austin. I don't know if you guys watched that, but if anybody if anybody did, I am definitely inter interested in, in you know your thoughts on the on the tournament. I didn't have much 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 experience with modern and unfortunately the team series was really hard to cast because we didn't we didn't know the cards, neither did the players really, neither, neither did the people watching, so it was pretty hard to do that, but we tried to do our best. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty glad that Watsi decided to uh, ban the... ban Oko and Mox Opal, because those cards were really like kind of messing up the format. Oko was just like, the cards should have been bad in every format ever. Right. <laughs> right. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Uh, I think I'm just getting rid of the Banishing Light with the Ol, because that, that gets me another card, and I kind of like that. Like a creature or enchantment gets protection in the color of your choice. Wish I had one more extra untapped mana. I do not, but not much I can do about that. Attack with both. Uh... Banishing light the banishing light with the O. So I get the trigger. Ooh, what am I taking? Banishing light? Am I taking O? They're both kinda great. Hmm. I guess banishing light probably. I already have two O's. I'll play I play this guy. Modern is the worst it's ever been. Well, now it's different, right? Now, now without, now without Oko, it's just gonna be fair game. Also, without Mox Opal, everybody's gonna have access to this, you know, same num same number of mana. I guess there's still Mox uh, Amber, but that card's kind of medium. Or it's a, it's really hard to make Mox Amber work. Well, we can protect the the Banishing Light afterwards. That's that's kind of nice. I think I need to get rid of Oketra, right? Do I? Should I save it for something better? No. Well, I could save it for something better. None of this flies except for Tomek. So I guess I can attack first. See where that goes. Wow. That's a chum block, huh? Nope. 
What's up, Atomi? Happy Thursday, happy Thursday to you too. Yeah, I'll get rid of Oketra. I think that's fine. And I'm gonna keep up the mana for the for the for the Alsaid. So I'm just gonna cast another giant killer. I I don't really need to wait for something bigger. I can just pay two and tap something. That works that works perfectly fine, so no reason to to, to save this in my hand. I think this is what I'll be playing in Pioneer for the qualifier. From what I've seen, Monorids seem kind of like the best deck, so I wouldn't really... Gain 5 life? Okay, roll. Oh, okay, this is basically gain 2 life because of the deck sauce. I wouldn't really recommend playing a lot of X ones, but your deck looks definitely interesting. A oh, rally the ancestors. Pretty sure Stan Sifka is gonna be working on this. Yeah, uh, this is like this is a deck where I don't really, you know, I don't really have experience with that stuff, so I don't really know what to tell you. But if I if I re remember correctly, this was a really good deck in the in the standard format. So there's you know there's a pretty good chance that this is gonna be good in Pioneer as well. Let me figure out what I'm doing. Uh, do I have to kill this? Did I just double attack Elspeth? I don't really want to do that. If I just go double, double face. You know, I think I have to go double attack Elspeth. At least it's a, it's it's like the the ability the abilities are minus. Do I even play the Tithe Taker? Might as well just tab the flyer. Cause then I have eight. But th th this is gonna th this is gonna gain at least one life, I think. I guess I'll just get I'll just get it in play. Oh, this might have been wrong. It's definitely an, an interesting deck Uh I might just try this myself on the stream. So if you're interested in you know my opinion, I'll I'll just I'll be playing a ton of I'll be playing a ton of uh, Pioneer in, in the next two weeks. I, I essentially just want to play every day. So there'll be there'll be plenty of opportunities to. Try that. Deck saws, okay. It's not legendary, is it? it? Oh, it is legendary. Giant killer, that's fine. I think this is going to be one of the more important white cards from the set because there is this new Curious Obsession, sort of, the, the blue white one. Ooh, we got our own else, but huh? So I can set up lethal with this for next turn. By bumping my flyers. If I play it now, I think now I have to tab the ol. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Alright, there's a chum block. Eight, I'll pass. I'll tap the, I'll tap the old or the giant killer, depending on what why it does. I'm a bit worried that escape will be too strong and limited. It definitely looked like that, or not too strong, but it definitely looked like it was very strong in at the team series finals. I just switched from white stream to like he was playing. I think we just got the flying, we just got the flying advantage here, and there's not much he can do to. Get us through the tappers. Uh, do we have to do 24? Do we have to do this after every game? Can we just maybe not? Yeah, I don't want to click on this 23 times. Let's just hope I don't have to do this every every time. All right, let's play like three. Let's play like three games with every deck. John had 
two sweepers in his deck as both game two and three. And yeah, that's true. I, I was watching the I was watching the match and even though like in general when, when something like this happens, when in team draft some some one person opens two wrath effects in the three first picks, that means those three guys are the ones that the other team doesn't know, that's usually like absolutely insane. Especially when they only play one one match. But Andrea's deck was actually, I think, better equipped for the matchup because his deck was just a dedicated escape deck with a lot of self mill and with a lot of uh, escape cards. So even though you know John had two sweepers, his deck was blue white sort of flyers and didn't have any four power creatures. So his shadow of the sky would never draw him a card, but would almost always draw Andrea a card because his deck had a lot of four, four plus power creatures. So like in the end, I think the matchup actually favored favored Andrea probably. Finally able to catch you live. Appreciate your posting videos on YouTube. Thanks all. Thanks all for for saying that, Greyhound. Appreciate it. There's gonna be videos from today. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little bit of everything and then post the you know the best performing decks or something on Twitter on YouTube. I guess both maybe. Brr. So this is mono black probably. Oh, shield maiden. This is I think this is this is Ashley if I remember correctly. She was at Mythic Championship. Was it five? I don't I don't really know the numbers. I believe it was five. This is one of the best new cards I think. Makes an 0-1, sacks a creature to scry one, an escape, comes back as a 5-4 with another 0-1. That's pretty good, and it's a sack out blood, so it goes straight into a red red black sacrifice deck, yep. How long have you been streaming today? I just I just started. I was I was like preparing some things and doing some things and trying trying fi trying to figure out something with uh hold on. How, how does this work? Could make this into a creature next turn. So do I start with Gideon? That makes this guy pretty big. But if it dies, my Gideon kind of dies, which is not great. I guess I could just cast this thing. No, let's just play. Let's just play it in. I'm just. I'm just gonna hope that this, that this guy survives long enough. Uh, this is a vigilance. I believe in you, friend. Doesn't have vigilance. But if I give it vigilance, that sounds good. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, I, I was just trying to figure out something with Streamlabs and OBS, and I'm not very good with these things. Heliod into Elspeth would have also been okay. When you gain one life plus, count, put a plus counter on target creature or enchantment. Which means lifelink. Yeah, maybe I should just play else, but Midnight Reaper, okay. Well, that sucks. This is a really good sack outlet for this. Like previously, this deck only had like the priest, priest of forgotten gods. And all oh, then. This is a really, really good extra sack outlet for that. That's really cool. Uh yeah, I think we're chum blocking here. Are we though? If I chum this goes to three, my turn goes to four. And Elspeth gives me two one ones. So I can keep jumping. That's kind of awkward, but I guess I have to do it. Bring it on. 
Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. But this would have this would have done the same thing. I'm gonna get so destroyed here. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Look at that value. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I'll I'll say that. So it's either else, but make two chumpers. Or one of these, but then my Gideon dies, so that's kind of not great. Yeah, I'll just play Elspeth into two one ones. <laughs> I'm not gonna be too unhappy to see the familiar chump here, even though that's an extra card for Ashley. Because at least my my Elspeth wouldn't get attacked. <clears throat> I'm not gonna kind of use this. It doesn't really matter because it's just until end of turn. And then we gotta pass. And this is basically gonna set up devotion to five for next for next turn's Heliod. A card that I never could figure out how to make tier one was Gruesome Menagerie. Oh, I also thought that card was gonna be great. I remember buying a ton of them on Magic Online when they were like 0 0.1 you know, or whatever. And it kind of never really never really went into any deck. But yeah, maybe 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 now it's maybe now it's finally the time to make it work. Yeah, I have to chum both of those. Yeah, this is bad. You will not move me. I guess if I make two creatures, my my Elspa dies and then my Heliod is not a creature anymore. Which is pretty bad. So what can I do now? I guess I'll just... I normally never play this until the turn when I can use it so that my opponent doesn't have the information. But I think here, red-black red, can have some like discard effects. So I would, I think I would rather just get it in play now. I think I'm just gonna play the Heliod. I can give this guy lifelink. That's not bad. I don't think I'm using the else, but I don't think I want it to die. I guess I will actually put the counter on Gideon, huh? I'm so screwed either way. I guess I, I have to do it here. I can't escape it next turn. It, it is escape four, right? Because I have four of the cards. Yeah, I only have one card in the grave. Oh, two cards in the grave, I guess. Share in my light. Elspeth will die, but at least I will get, I will get to kill Midnight Reaper, for example. Should I? Yeah, because otherwise Gideon's gonna die. Yeah, I think I have to. I have to keep it in play like this. Feels like War Strider is underrated. Yeah, I mean people are talking about it, but you know that, that doesn't mean that everybody has it in their deck. I don't think this this deck is playing Grey Merchant. Grey Merchant is more in like a mono black deck with a lot of lands with like Bolas as Citadel. This deck is probably playing like 22, 23 lands, would be my guess. I also think that this, this card is kind of kind of underrated. It's not like a card where you see it, you're just going to be like, oh wait, 
well, this is super easy, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna put it into my, you know, you, you see Grey Merchant, you're like, okay, I guess this goes directly into a mono black devotion deck, and all you need to find is cards that cost black mana. For Vostrider, you still need to build your deck around it. So it's gonna take a little while for people to actually figure out exactly what the best shell for it is. Yeah, I think my Elspeth is gonna die. I am so dead now. Gideon dies. I guess I could just draw something that costs white mana and then this would be a creature, but unfortunately that didn't happen. And now the oven and... <laughs> and... The oven and the... And the cats are just gonna destroy me. All right, let's play one more. Elspeth seems interesting. I like Planeswalkers that have minus abilities because they don't just like spiral out of, out of control. We just don't have to do anything other than just plussing them every turn. Like Oko was really annoying. And if every creature was just, if, if every Planeswalker was like that, you actually have to make decisions. Cause like, yeah, I guess sometimes I'm not gonna be able to use it and you know, stuff like that. It's not just like, okay, plus one, make a three, three, plus one, turn your thing into an elk. Nightmare Shepherd. Oh, speaking of Shepherds, I could play the other Shepherd. Does it work with Banishing Light? It doesn't. So where you would put this on, where you put, put the the trigger on the stack, you would bet you would shepherd it back to your hand. That out, that unfortunately doesn't work. Uh, my Gideon got taken. That's unfortunate. What is Nightmare Shepherd? Nightmare Shepherd. Oh, the 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 four mana four four the black creature. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I agree. So this is not an artifact or enchantment, is it? Okay. Let's see what we get off of this. I guess I'll just play this since Emma knows about it. Again, just to protect myself from this card. This seems pretty good in the deck, I'll, I'll say that. If you can pull, pull it off with Great Matron, yeah, that'd be good. What's up, Alex here? Cling to dust. Exile, Tiger Carhoon. Okay, that was too fast. If it was a creature card, you gain three. Otherwise, draw a card. So you can use it on yourself. Okay. That seems decent. Wow, another Ola is great here. Might just play Heliod, though. And just save this in my hand. Because that can activate, basically enable Heliod next turn. I'll start with this. I think that's gonna get countered. Yep. I'll just play Heliod. 
So now Heliod is a creature. If something happens to my board, Heliod has indestructible, so that's going to survive. And I can play the Ole next turn to enable attacking with Heliod again. Somebody linked me to a list from Huey. It seems to be banned. Uh, banned one offs. Yeah, this is fine. We have another. Oh, we also have a banishing light. So, no big deal. Wow. That's a lot of stuff to choose from. I guess I'm taking this. Or another banishing light? No. Yeah, I think I'm taking it. I think I'm taking the all side. This is flying, right? This does not have flying. Okay, the token immediately chums the Heliod. Interesting. What is this? That that's sort of a maze of it kind of card. This goes my guy, that's fine. Ooh, good one. I guess I can start with Tomic. Yeah, I'll start with Tomic. Well... That's a lot of cards in the graveyard. That's a, that's a pretty good interaction between Escape and Enter the God Eternals. I kind of like that. This could not have been played. Yeah, I'll go for the Gideon. I am here to aid in the assault. Wait, this is still not a creature? One, two, three. Oh, okay, I have to play both. Never mind. I thought one was enough to make it into a creature. Uh, I guess I'll give this lifelink. What are we making bigger? We could protect something else from Enter the God Eternals. So I can make Tomic into a 4-5. Or I can just bump the smaller creatures to sort of like spread the power. You know, I'll just make this into a 4-5. I don't know if that's if that's a good idea, but. Obviously, it's just going to get killed immediately. <laughs> we made a lot of changes, don't go by the list. Yeah, there's an updated list, I'll try that. Why does he have so many one-offs? What does he... what does the deck do that... So this and Champion looks pretty good, I... I do like that. Is it like a... Like a birthing pod deck? How does he get? Omen, Haven, Omen, Incarnation. Oh, Incarnation, I see. I see what's going on. Okay, so that is kind of like birthing pod. You don't have to pay, you, have, you, you don't even have to pay mana or anything. That's pretty good. All right, let's play five games with every deck. Since it's just best of one, it's just going to be like 30 minutes of playing every deck. And then we can just see what performed the best. Yeah, I think this is fine. Three mana, five, five indestructible is no joke. Black red, oh, it's Shota. Blackheart unfortunately only has creatures with power 3 or more normally if it's a sacrifice deck. Yeah, it is the sacrifice deck. Well, good thing about a sacrifice deck against a sacrifice deck is Scythe Taker, but not if they can steal it. If they can steal it, then that gets kind of awkward, but I think we have to do that. He's always going to block the Giant Killer. I'm not even going to attack with it, even though it seems kind of free. Because this might get stolen... Oh my god, am I playing the Tithe Taker? If he goes, if he plays, if he plays cl uh, claim the claim the Firstborn and another creature steals this, makes me sag the killer, that's gonna be so bad for me. 
But yeah, let's just hope he doesn't have that. I could write the record on the screen, but I, I, I don't know how to do that, unfortunately. Discard a card. Can I discard Heliod or Elspud? Is Dexos the worst? I think next turn I'm gonna have to probably banishing like the priest. I do like the look of the do, I do like the look of this deck by the way. It looks kind of interesting. I'm gonna discard Heliod. I, I don't think I'm gonna have I don't think I'm gonna have devotion to five. Because my creatures are just gonna be dying. Also, luckily Shota didn't have a extra creature, so he couldn't sack it. Mono White is currently two and one. I'll just go for a quick else, but hopefully and see what that does. Gutter Bones is okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like Shota has claimed the Firstborn. Wiles makes me discard another one. And makes me sack a creature. Well, yikes. Sacking the Time Taker or Giant Killer? I'll go for this. Means less devotion for me, but it's better. It leaves me with more creatures and it, and it sort of protects me from the future claim. I think I'm gonna discard else, but I don't have the fourth mana yet. If I if I had the fourth mana, I, I would keep it. But now, I guess. Oh wait, escape is six. I thought escape had the same cost. If if escape is six, that's quite a bit. I think I'm gonna have to sack the, uh, to exile the priest. Definitely everything attacks. That's my only removal right now. Can I even do that? Yeah, I guess I have to do it. Because Priest enables Shota to start sacking stuff and like put more stuff in the graveyard, which is gonna fuel this guy too. So I think this is fine. Cavalier, huh? I can tap that, that's not a big deal. Okay, never mind. Can't tap it anymore. Maybe I'll play four games with every deck. I think that's... That's a good number. Yeah, I'll take it. So far, Elspeth seems very fair. Nothing too crazy. All right, put the three guards into your graveyard. Then you may exile a creature or enchantment card from your graveyard. Create a two zombie token. So this just fuels the Titan, sort of. Okay. That's fine. Oh, it also gets cats in the it, it it also gets cats in your graveyard. Lots of people trying Elspeth as a condition in blue white. That's not 
I don't think that's a great idea because it's a it's a planeswalker that you have to minus. Oh, oh is a great draw. Oh is a great great draw. So this can get rid of the cavalier. But I guess this is gonna come into play next turn. Because Shotana has a full graveyard. Or is gonna have a full graveyard. Uh I guess this can block. I'll just attack with the flyer. Yeah, like you don't want to play. You don't want your your planeswalker in a control deck be a planeswalker that only has minus abilities. That just that just makes no sense. Even though you can you can bring it back, you know, with escape six. You you, you don't want to have to pay six every every other turn or you know every third turn or something. And like making two one ones, that's not really even that strong. If it was, you know, flying creatures or something like that, if it was more, then that would be way different. I guess if I block here, Shota kills this, then my guy dies, but... I don't know, I'm just gonna block. If I if he has the removal spell, I'm kinda dead anyway, so might as well just block. So far, Elspeth looks like it wants to go into some sort of mid rangey white deck. Yeah, or like some, some super aggro deck, kind of. Discard another one, huh? Well, that's pretty easy because this guy is legendary. So next turn, show this cries and gains. All right, do I just have to get rid of this now? Can just block the cavalier thing. That's fine. Elspeth is nice, but does that does it even do anything? I, I have to get rid of this because otherwise I have to discard the other card from my hand. Yeah, let's get rid of this guy. I guess I can double block. I can double block the cavalier. Uh, and give it protection. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Yeah, let's take for one. Did you have mana to give your giant killer protection? I don't. Th I don't think so. Does not activating the land. Okay. Wow, another banishing white. Hmm. Do I just get rid of the priest? That's so much extra, so many extra cards. I, I, I think I kind of do. I think I have to do it because otherwise, he sags gutter bones, and like a token gutter or 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 familiar, got, that makes me lose life. So he, he can just bring it back. So basically, every turn I'm sacking one, he's drawing one. I don't think I want that to happen. T calls the D looks like it might be. Oh, Tim Red calls the. Okay, it looks it looks decent. I think it's gonna be a pretty good card for limited too, in like a dedicated escape deck. One of the problems of this card is it it fights with other threes in red black, and there's so many. Right there is there is Mayhem Devil. Now there's this. There's Midnight Reaper. Uh, there is Araya. There is uh. Pretty sure there's one more. There's there's Wolf Reaper. Yeah, there's like so many three. There's so many three drops right now. You couldn't just bring that back. Uh, I think I'm just super dead. I guess I I still have to double block it. I think because he doesn't have anything else to bring back right now. 
And like it's just gonna get worse and worse. Yeah, I'm gonna double block, I think. I do wanna give my guy protection though. How is this ordered? Is left always first? I don't know. Let's just let's hope so. Oh wait, this is gonna trigger. This is gonna shoot my flyer. Do I wanna trade these two to keep the owl? I guess that's okay. Yeah, Judith is another one, exactly. Sure. Oh, I don't want to have full control. but make two one ones does that do anything i want to attack with the flyer because i need to deal some damage hospital might just die very quickly but i think i still need to play it so this deck is pretty good at gaining a lot of life but like other than that, I'm not really doing all that much. Like all these creatures are just kind of weak. I I have been liking this so far because it does it does it does find you a lot of a lot of nice things. But other than that, okay, I'm so dead. Sure, those just like every time he sacks something, these do two these deal two damage. So I'm just, there's never there's never really gonna be a chance for me to get back in this game. Alright, I'm gonna play four I'm gonna play four games with every deck. So this was two and two with mono white. Uh 